hi guys and welcome back to my channel <laughs> once again i just want to apologize because i am absolutely terrible at remembering to do youtube videos and sticking to it but i'm back and i promise that i'm actually going to keep up to it this time really? yeah Are you a i'm making a video yeah and go on <laughs> that is one of the main reasons why i was going to wait really? until i was yes I'm gonna wait until I'm in the new house. Right, <laughs> getting back into what I was saying. I'm back and obviously a lot has changed in my life. A fucking awful lot. A lot's gone on, a lot's happened. But this is why I'm deciding to do this video because I want to do like a more up to date, get to know me Q&A kind of style video. Also, if you are new here, I would just like to say hi, welcome. My name's Kate Lee, I'm 21 years old and thank you so much for coming over to my YouTube and if you followed me and subscribed previously, then welcome back. This is another reason why I can hardly film here. <laughs> right, so I've gathered loads of questions that you guys have asked me over on my Instagram story and I'm going to go through them now. There is obviously a running theme through the questions. Obviously, I've had a lot going on in my life and I will in fact be answering all of your questions that you guys have asked. So we will start with this really lovely question and it is, where do you see yourself in five years time? So. I did in fact go back and watch my first ever video where I answered this and I was like oh my gosh Katie Lee like since then I've realized a lot I don't know I now see the future as whatever's gonna happen will happen hopefully in five years time I will have met the love of my life um hopefully five years time be engaged maybe trying for my first child or have had my first child obviously you never know what's going to happen in life like literally you never know what's going to happen so i don't know obviously in my first ever video i made i said i want a house and it gets me really emotional to actually think that in within two years i've managed to get myself a house like that's insane obviously everything else i've said on that hasn't happened yet but there's still time like yeah i can't believe that but we'll go into that again but yeah in five years time I want to hopefully be engaged with the love of my life maybe in a bigger house obviously you never know what's going to happen so yeah that's where I see myself in five years time but who knows what's going to happen anyways the next question is oh I still want to be doing social media the next question is what gives you motivation I'd say the future that I want like I know that I look into the future and I do want children and I'd love to live in like a house with a nice garden and what gives me motivation is looking forward into the future and looking back a little me thinking like what would she have wanted and my family my family are the biggest people who give me motivation like they are so supportive and so amazing and yeah I just want to make myself proud make my family proud and make my future children very proud of me so these two questions kind of tie in together and it's who do you currently live with and how many animals do you have because i class the animals that i live with um so i live with me my mum grandma granddad hope bailey <laughs> darla billy and hallie so there's five animals and then there's four of us in the house and it's hectic i'm not even gonna lie three generations sends us absolutely insane sometimes especially bringing two dogs over from turkey hope and bailey still don't like them but yeah that is who i currently live with and the animals that i have speaking about billy and hallie someone has in fact asked what's the story on rescuing billy and hallie so if you don't follow my tiktok or have me on instagram basically last year on a holiday in turkey my mum came knocking on the hotel room door, bearing in mind it was stupid o'clock in the morning and me and my ex-partner was just laid in bed and we was like, what the fuck, it is so early. So I'm shouting at my mum and then my mum's like, no, come to the door, it's important. I come to the door, she stood there with this puppy and I was like, what? Um, basically, three puppies, Billy, Hallie and their sister, who is now called Oreo, were abandoned at the side of a road, left in a box. Um, and we went on a day trip out because we'd only been able to find one puppy, obviously the one that came into the complex. We came back from our day out. The rest of our friends who didn't go to the beach 
had found the other two puppies or it gets me really emotional thinking about it and they were just all laid there cuddled up and I'd already said like I think I'm gonna take the little girl that we found our other friends were like right well we'll have the other girl and then I was like well we can't leave one by himself so that's when I decided the crying to get Billy and Holly honestly they are the most loving babies ever but there can be a pain in the backside so yeah there was a long process i will do a video going into more detail about obviously the process of that it don't feel real that they're over here like it's absolutely crazy it's mind-blowing to think that they were in turkey when we were just on holiday and now they're barking downstairs someone has asked how did you choose all your animals names so hope was born on the day that i first ever found out i was pregnant so it was like she was she was just sent at the right time and obviously she was like my hope in life and her name suits her perfectly bailey is lucky boy bailey um we just thought oh, i'll go with the last name then darla darla is from like darla the little rascals because she was like a little rascal she was so cheeky Halle is short for halloumi because we ate a lot of halloumi on the holiday and billy my ex-girlfriend named because she wouldn't pick up the puppy so as we was walking into the complex she shouted billy and he came running and i was like billy and she was like yes yeah. so it was in fact my ex-girlfriend who named billy and it does suit him perfectly because he is a massive silly billy <laughs> the next question someone's asked is best holiday you've ever been on now you guys all know well and if you don't know i love going to turkey i've been going to the same place my whole life however last year i went to mexico and oh my gosh it's insane mexico from start to finish was the best holiday ever sorry um just everything from like the resort to the beaches to the people to the things you can do there the food sorry i just had to stop it there for a minute um but yeah mexico was insane like the things that you can do in mexico like the days out and stuff I just honestly best holiday ever I, sorry obviously it'll always hold a special place in my heart well mexico um but yeah like everything about it was just insane i am currently juan so i'm gonna be <laughs> the tears on being juan but i think whilst i'm in this state we'll go on to the question because everyone's been asking it what actually happened between you and your ex-girlfriend grace so this is something that gets asked all the time and i'm not going to go into full detail but long story short things just happen sometimes in life and we'd just got back off our holiday in mexico and then sometimes people just decide that they want something different and we actually broke up in December, um, a week after we'd got back from Mexico. Um, and sometimes, sorry. <laughs> I'm such a mess. Sometimes people just want different things in life. And as hard as it is, sometimes you've just got to accept that. We did, in fact, try and make it work up until the end of february um however sometimes people just want different things and you need to go your separate ways and yeah everything happens for a reason i know that even though it doesn't make any sense sometimes you've just got to remember that as long as you and that person are happy in the long run that's all that matters and i do wish her nothing but the best obviously towards the end um of the relationship like it was a bit messy but that's sometimes how life goes and you've just got to accept it and just move on with life the best question to answer after that is do you believe in right person wrong time some people might call me delusional but i don't know i'd say yeah because me and grace always used to say to each other like if we'd have met each other like when we was like 20 22 23 like things could have been different um we're, we're two different people obviously she's a party goer um don't get me wrong i like going out for a few brunches and cocktails here and then but i think 
she had my best interest at heart and she didn't find it like think it would have been fair like obviously when she's going out i never stopped it and i never would have done but at the end of the day things happen people change and you've just got to do what's best for you and obviously that's what she did for her i do believe in right person wrong time because <laughs> what we had it was amazing and i don't want anyone ever thinking that any of that were fake because it wasn't um but yeah i'd say i do believe in right person wrong time but anything can happen in life and she might go on to find someone else and I might go on to find someone else and that's totally okay as well but sometimes people's lives pop cross paths again and that's okay <laughs> someone asked would you ever go back to any ex I think with the previous two questions um you can kind of gather um that there is one ex I'd made <laughs> if things were right and we was both at the same stage in life possibly but who knows that might never happen and that would also be okay but no i wouldn't go back to either of my previous two exes before that just no <laughs> on to the subject of obviously being single someone's asked what's something you've learned since becoming single something i've learned is self-love like never before and becoming so independent and realizing that you seriously cannot control anything in life don't plan how you want your life to go to a certain degree because when that goes wrong it kills it really does kill but yeah just independence and i've also learned that don't sit around waiting for people to be free or for people to do stuff we are to find someone else go out and do what you want like i've just booked my first ever solo holiday for next week and i'm not gonna lie i'm petrified however I know that I want to get away a lot this year so I just thought just do it Katie because you never know what's going to happen whilst you're away and yeah I'm actually really looking forward to it but another thing I've also learned since being single is really just sorry <laughs> live in the moment um because you really never know what's going to happen I used to be very fixed on or I want this and I want this and don't get me wrong I still do want them things in the future but I wish I had just really just lived in the moment a lot more um but yeah that's something I've learned and that's something that I will continue to put into my life but yeah <laughs> another question is how have you got through the breakup so as you can see answering the questions about it it's just got me a bit emotional and once again I'm due on I'm gonna blame that um but I have in fact just kept reminding myself everything happens for a reason even if you don't understand the reason yet everything happens for a reason like <laughs> literally everything that is the main life motto I keep saying to myself and my friends keep reminding me it you've just got to see it as at least it's happened now kind of thing and as much as it killed in the moment and don't get me wrong there is still times when it is like so confusing and i do get upset about it i think that's normal you've just got to make sure you grieve what's happened and actually let them emotions out instead of just don't get me wrong obviously keep yourself occupied keep yourself seeing your friends your family and doing stuff but don't completely brush it away because them feelings will come back one day and it's like, have you heard when people are like, oh yeah, some people after a breakup actually proper grieve it and go through the pain and then like other people have a way of obviously just blanking it out and then one day it's like, what the fuck? I obviously have gone through it, grieved it and yeah, just made sure that I've taken every opportunity I can, sorry my earrings hurting, taken every opportunity I can and just made sure to go out and just focus on everything that's happening now and just making sure that i'm becoming the best version of myself and doing everything for me because that's something i've been terrible at in the past and it's not a bad thing making sure that you love someone else and love them with everything in you and putting someone else first but for the first time ever i'm putting all that into me and i have really been able to see the benefits of it okay so this question is how do you become happy and confident within yourself so there is times when you're not and i feel like everyone's gonna feel like that but the best thing to remind yourself is that you only live once you really do only live once the body that you're in is your body everything about you is you and obviously you can change that but 
just think to yourself like your parents have obviously give birth to you and you are the way you are like do you know what I mean obviously I understand that some people can be unhappy with certain things and do what you want to make you feel better about yourself however I found that the best way for me is just remembering that like you really do only live one life and this is the body I've been put in this is the skin I've been put in this is the hair I've been given these are the eyes the smile everything like that is what I've been given so just embrace it and someone will love you for you but before you can do that you need to love yourself first and that is the most key thing love yourself before you let anyone else love you because self-love is so important i'm not gonna lie i've been sat like this <gasps> oh, 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 my legs oh i've gone really dead <sighs> oh 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 Oh, oh, I can't feel them. I'm not gonna lie to you all. It's been about a good 10 minutes whilst I've been trying to sort my legs out. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, I'm in so much pain. I shouldn't have been sat like that for so long. Oh, oh, my ankle. I don't know how I'm gonna do this now. <laughs> do I look a decent height? I mean, my head's right down here. <laughs> I'm sat cross-legged because I just couldn't sit like that anymore. That has distracted me from the water work, so let's get going. Someone has asked, are you getting with anyone or getting to know anyone? Okay, so I have obviously chat to people, but nothing serious. Like, everyone I've chat to, like, it's not been in the intention of getting into a relationship, and they've been the same. It's just been getting to know people. However, I got to a point where I was just like, I just said to them all, I was like, oh, that sounds so bad. No, but do you know what I mean? Like, when I've spoke to people, like, individual, I've just been like, listen, I just want you to know that, like, you are a really nice person, but me personally, I really do not want anything. Like, I don't just want to get into something for the sake of it, to feel that hole that's missing, if that makes sense. Like, I'd rather just stay focusing on me. Obviously, you can have a flirt here and then with people. I'll not say no to going on a date or anything like that but I just think the best thing for me to do is just put everything into me for as long as I can and at the end of the day it comes when you least expect it which I've learned from the past um but yeah I'm hoping when the right person comes it is the right person and it'll be the right time and everything will fall into place and I'll live happily ever after. <laughs> now let's go on to all the questions about the house. So, I've been asked, why did you buy your house? Now, we first started looking at houses in October. Was it October? I think it was October. And the reason that we decided to start looking to buy houses, and yes, I do say we because... People are shocked when they realise that it wasn't just me who was planning on moving out. Um, me and my ex-partner was planning on moving out together. Simple reason, we both obviously... Oh, right, I'm not going to get emotional. We was home to each other. Whenever we was with each other, it just felt like home. And obviously, there's a lot that's always going on at my house, living with all my family and same with her and her family. And we wanted to be able to like, you know, go in the kitchen by ourselves and cook something without someone being like, oh, we need to use the kitchen or just to have our own space, be independent. There is also loads of other reasons why we'd made this decision that we wanted to start looking at getting a house. Um, but they're personal um, to my ex and that's something that I'd obviously never speak about. But yeah, we just thought it was a good time. Obviously, my ex was going to do socials full time, same as me. And we just thought being able to have our own space, like make content and just do it to the best of our abilities would have been the best thing. So that is actually why we decided to start looking at houses. That leads on to the question, why did you decide to buy a house outright? So... First of all, I am so extremely grateful and thankful that I've even been able to do this. Like, it it doesn't feel real. Like, even just saying that, I'm like, what? 
but yeah so we first started looking at houses to rent because obviously getting a house is a big and very expensive thing and we knew that obviously we didn't have enough years on the books so if we was to get a mortgage the interest rate would have been absolutely ridiculous but we looked at a few rented houses nothing was perfect we did um decide to ask did is it cost us putting an offer down on one no we did agree to one however when they spoke to the lady on the phone the estate agent told her that we were bringing two dogs over from turkey and that we do social media as a job and she didn't like the sound of that so she went for someone else which has worked out in my favor um obviously because yeah like it pushed me and it made me think to myself katie work as hard as you can and with all the money that you've saved why don't you just try and see what you can do i did go over budget with my house that i've got now because we was um we drove up to look at the outside of a house one day that i was gonna buy um and on the way back this is the thing, everything happens for a reason. We weren't even viewing that house at the time. We'd just gone to look at the outside of it. Um, on the way back, the road that we took to get to my ex's old house, you had to go down this road. And when we were driving down that road, I just looked and I was like, I love the outside of that house. I was like, that is absolutely adorable. And we just was like, right, let's get back. Let's look at this. And oh my gosh, fell in love. It was literally love at first sight like on the photos we went to go view it i think it was the next day we looked around and it felt like home it was such a home the house it had so much character it was a two bedroom obviously the kitchen was like um had an island and it was like oh my gosh this is it i'm pretty sure it was the same day where i actually put an offer on i'm not gonna lie there was many times obviously after um the breakup that i was like this close to just dropping out of it um obviously because i'd been so many times with grace to look around the house in my head obviously whilst we were going through the breakup i was like i'm not going to be able to do it i was like i'm not and sometimes i do worry that I won't be okay but I know that if I can move into my own house at 21 years old and do everything for myself I mean I've already bought obviously everything in there for myself bought the house like it's all me that's done it and being able to say that I've done it myself I'm so proud of myself and I know that in the future I'll look back and think Kaylee wow I'm so glad that you didn't pull out because as I'm doing every room up and I'm making it my own I'm like this is my home and obviously it's all mine which is crazy but yeah I'm so glad that I didn't pull out I am so glad because I was honestly so close there was at times when I was like I can't I, I physically couldn't do it and I'll, I'm not gonna lie there were times where I'd go into the bedroom where we'd planned that it was going to be our bedroom and I'd look at it and I'd be like this was meant to be ours but now now it's got my own touch on it now I've done it all and obviously I'm getting on with life I'm like no like <laughs> Kayla this is your room and yeah I'm I'm so happy and everything really does happen for a reason and it's give me something to focus on give me something to do and it has on I think it's honestly helped as well with the breakup because i've obviously had to focus on the house and getting everything sorted and i'm so happy with how it's turned out and i cannot wait to give you all a house tour how many rooms does your new house have so obviously you'll see in the house tour but it's got two bedrooms a bathroom without a bath so would you cause it as a shower room with a toilet no bathroom shower room i still call my bathroom the bathroom and it's not got a bath so two bedrooms a bathroom the living room the kitchen and then there's like an extra door in the kitchen that's like the under the stairs bit so that's just like a little storage room how are you feeling about moving out so i've most probably said it in all them previous clips but the emotions are all over the place which i feel like they would be for anyone um i'm excited like i'm so excited i'm scared i'm anxious i'm every emotion you could think of is how i'm feeling at the thought of moving out but 
I know and I just keep reminding myself, Kaylee, if you can do this and you can live by yourself, then you're going to become even more independent. And one thing I've learned is obviously independence really is key and I'll be able to get myself into a better routine. That's something that I really struggle with at the minute, obviously living and working from my family home because I've decided that I'm obviously going to film some content in the new house, but like big content, I'm going to do it at my family home. So then there'll be obviously times where I can just go home to my own home and I can go into bed and I can just relax because I can't shut off in this bedroom since obviously I've been making videos in this room since 2016 and before I got my socials room it was just a bedroom and a workroom to me was this room and obviously before I got my bathroom done but since then obviously I've not really made as many videos in here but I still can't seem to shut off in here so yeah but we'll have to wait and see I'm also gonna do weekly vlogs like living by myself learn guys I don't know how to cook I'm not gonna lie I don't know how to cook that wasn't meant to be my job not job that sounds really bad but um when we were planning to move out it was gonna be like take it in turns obviously cook together because I don't know how to cook so I'm gonna have to learn how to cook but exactly that's where independence comes in I'm gonna have to learn I'm gonna have to learn one day anyway but yeah let's hope that I don't give myself food poisoning because that will not be good if you didn't do social media as a job what would you do oh my gosh now this is proper sweating it out there if I didn't do social media I'd love to work with children I worked with children before social media love it children just bring so much joy just thinking about it they're just they're just oh I love working with children they just say it how it is they're just so loving and it's just so rewarding teaching them helping them and just watching them grow as people I really do miss working with children and yeah or become a midwife that's still a big dream of mine and obviously with me doing social media as a job now I'm hoping one day in the future I will be able to do one of them things especially midwifery I'd love to go back to university one day to do midwifery because I just know that I'd be such a rewarding job do you have baby names so <laughs> this is the thing isn't it when you get into a relationship you discuss baby names with yourself and your partner <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie the baby names with my ex are like I love them. I love them so much. Whereas in the past, if I've said a baby name, I've been like, no, I don't like that. Whereas I genuinely do have my heart on these baby names. <laughs> but I I won't be able to get with someone new and be like, oh yeah, by the way, this was the baby name that me and my ex loved. I mean, they might be fine with that. But then is it weird to go with a baby name that you and your ex loved? Oh, shit. Oh, but the baby names. Oh, B. <laughs> and I. Oh, I don't know what to do. Anyways, I don't need to think about that anytime soon because I'm not getting pregnant anytime soon. And yeah, oh, actually, the next question is, how would you go about getting pregnant with you being a lesbian? So obviously, it's something that you decide between yourself and your partner that you were with at the time. Um my ideal i would love to carry my future partner's eggs so then obviously get them implanted into myself get a sperm donor and do it that way that way just it just seems so lovely doing it that way oh my god where would they yeah i'd love to do it that way um i mean if my partner wanted to carry let them carry but then someone else has also asked would you ever get back with a boy now i say never say never you never know what's going to happen. I wouldn't turn it down just because it was a lad. Like, if I met someone and I clipped with him and I was like, oh my gosh, there's something here and it was a lad, I wouldn't be like, no. You're just going to have to see what happens in life. I mean, that's the only way that life can take you. Do you know what I mean? What is the difference between being in a relationship with a lad and being in a relationship with a woman? So, my personal experience... um. I just find that when you meet someone that you actually like fall in love with um, in the same sex woman on woman relationship, it's honestly something so special. Like it, it really is. Um, don't get me wrong, obviously falling in love with a man will also be special. 
but you just connect on a different level you understand each other there's a lot more understanding i've personally found um you get each other women know what women like um it's just amazing it really is but obviously the hard part of it is you do obviously i know you become best mates with if you was in a relationship with a lad but i don't know i've just found it different being in a relationship with a girl than going through a breakup because they really do become your best friend like your best friends and partners and it's just it's so magical like the love is just so different the love just it feels more i don't know how to describe it it's just magical it it really is magical and until i feel that way about someone again i don't even want a relationship just for the sake of it i really don't like because i just i love being in relationships don't get me wrong but i want to make sure that my next one is like it do you know what i mean and i wouldn't just settle for anyone or anything like they'd have to be that oh my gosh this is amazing feeling again do you know what i mean someone has asked have you got any tattoos so yes i do i have one two three four tattoos i have one behind my ear i don't know if you can see it um i've got two on my back i can't really pull that down can you see it i've got a spine one and then i've got a g in a love heart on the back of my neck and i also have one like here here um that bloody killed and it still needs finishing but it does need finishing but it, it did kill but yeah someone also asked if i'm gonna get that one removed no i'm not i'm not getting it removed because if you have never heard the video about the g on my neck g didn't just stand for grace it stood for a lot of things and it has got a lot of meaning to it so yes don't get me wrong my ex's name begin with g but i'm not getting rid of the g because of the other reasons behind it and if my next partner ain't happy with that then they're not the one get fucked oh this is a family one a new one just come through do you have any brothers or sisters so i do in fact have three half sisters and um, we've got the same father same sperm donor is not but may as well be um yeah different mums my two elder sisters have the same mum and dad however different mums to imogen and then different mum to me if that makes sense does that make sense i hope that makes sense <laughs> how do you feel about the fact you've just booked a solo holiday shitting it <laughs> but i'm a very chatty person so i'm hoping to just make friends very easily and really just learn more about myself like there's going to be no one else there i'm just going to whack some airpods in and just relax literally it's just going to be a rewind and i'm just going to relax and hopefully really enjoy it and i'm hoping this is the first of many what is your biggest achievement my biggest achievement is buying my very first home outright at 21 years old what the fuck man what the actual fuck i'm gonna finish the video there um there's so many questions still coming in so i might do a part two but yeah i hope all you guys enjoyed this video um i mean if you did enjoy it like comment subscribe do people still say that i don't know i'm so sorry i've literally not been on youtube in ages but yeah i can't wait to start posting more and I really do just hope you all enjoy it and I can't wait to bring you all along the rest of my journey with me because this is a new chapter of life. I'm going to be moving into my new home, going on solo holidays and I'm single. So let's just see what happens in life, eh? So yeah, thank you all for watching. Goodbye and I love you all.